Zanupi. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life and salvation. As we are going for the lesson, we pray that we'll understand everything and that the connection will be good. We pray that your Holy Spirit will be there to guide us. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much, Faith. Who can give us a recap of what you looked at last time? Yes. Our default. Yes, teacher. Yes, give us a recap of what you looked at last time. We started the topic business ideas. Then we say business mm -hmm. idea is any thought that entrepreneur comes up with and develop it into a business. Then we also say business ideas are got from, okay, I uh, got by identifying a problem, then finding a solution to it. Very good, thank you. Like when they should reach the business idea, there would be farming. Okay. Thank you. So we ended on the sources of business ideas, where we had started looking at the sources of business ideas, like the technical skills and experience uh, that the entrepreneur possesses. Who can share to, to us and tell us those different technical skills and, and the different business ideas that can come with those technical skills? Yes, Nama again. Some of the sources of business ideas we have um, personal contacts with exposed, uh, which expose them to different scenarios. Okay, so first place, my answer. Okay, Hope. Have you had my question? My question is that possessing technical skills and experience is one of the sources of business ideas. So share to us and tell us those different uh, technical skills and the different business ideas that they can come up, they can come with. Yes, like for example, if someone is good at working with metal, melding it and making metal things, they can start a business and they identify an area that doesn't have metal work where people don't do metal at all. They can start a business there and make money from making metal. Like uh, thank, metal windows, thank metal you very doors. Much. Any other? Yeah. Teacher, also if a person knows how to make like crafts, they can also be able to make shoes which help them to get money. So it's also a technical skill. Beautiful. Anna. Yeah, also baking. Okay, very good. So those are the different technical skills and how they can help us to develop business ideas. Then personal contact, which exposes them to different scenarios and situations. Who can share with us uh, any experience of that? Personal contact, which exposes them to different scenarios and situations. Faith. Um. Teacher, for example, if you're starting maybe a business, like um, maybe a supermarket, and you have like people who invest in your company, those become your contacts. If you get more information up about them, you can improve on your business, and then that becomes your business idea. Yes. Any other situation? Yes, Nalle. Rukia. I'm teacher. Uh, I think like personal contacts. If 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 you see something bad that is happening in the community, like the shop is falling because of debts, you experience that and you promise never to do that in your business. We are talking about developing business ideas. So how can that help you develop a business idea? You become a money lender. 
Okay, thank you. Any other uh, charity? For me, I think personal contact. Like, for example, you are like you have a person, maybe that person has a business, and like that person contacts you and tells you, Do you know how to do this? Then you're like, Yes. Then, like, she, he or she tells you, I can invest in your money, and like you start up your own business, but you are the one to tell me what you can do. And like, yeah, you tell him, Maybe I can do tailoring, then that person helps you to put up somewhere where you can do your tailoring from. Yeah, like that's how I think personal contact and bring about business. Okay, very good. So personal contacts are like in your phone, you have different contacts. You always talk with different people. So as you talk with those people, they can always give you the business ideas. As you share with them, as you interact with them, as you get to know maybe what they are going through, from there you can develop the business idea and you start from there. Yeah, so that is uh, what you can explain there. Nama Gembe, your hand is still up. What do you have to tell us? I just forgot it. I'm going to put it down. Okay. Uh, so we we went to hobbies. Hobbies, I told you most of us, we have hobbies. We all have hobbies. So I want you to share with us your hobby and the different business you can develop from your hobby. Yes, the primrose. Primrose. Yeah, um, teacher. For example, my hobby is playing volleyball. And in our community, uh, supposing you find that there is no okay, the recreation center, so I can I can set up a recreation center where I can people come and learn different activities. Okay, thank you. Charity. Your hobby and a business idea. Teacher, like for example, if you have, like if you have a hobby, like when your hobby is cooking, you can decide to start up a restaurant and like or a small Italy and you can is cooking your, your hobby, hobby as well. Charity. No, Charity. no, but I enjoy it. <laughs> okay, then it is your hobby. Okay, with cooking, okay. you can start a restaurant. Uh, Namara. My hobby is to make hairstyles. So maybe a business that you could put up a saloon to work on people's hair. Okay, bestie. Best what is your hobby? My hobby. So you would look for a place that doesn't have many that that, that, that like a for example a place that doesn't have a lot of access to kinds of things. So you can start up a Best, business. What is your hobby? My hobby is baking. Okay, yes. you can start a bakery. Uh -huh. yes. uh, Cynthia, Faith. Um, my hobby is reading and writing. So I would write a book and then publish it and sell it. Okay, Nanyanzi. Yes, teacher. For me, during this lockdown, my auntie taught me on how to make liquid soap. So I've been I've been making liquid soap. So we have this nearby supermarket. So that's why I take my liquid soap and I get my my money from there. Oh, very good. Thank you for you already in business. Then Queen. My hobby is reading novels and. The business I would set up is a, a library or a book a bookshop. Okay, very good. Uh, I My hobby is singing and I can perform at different ceremonies like birthdays 
and take money from there. Okay, are you? Teacher, teacher, my hobby is watching TV and I think I would set up an internet cafe. Okay, very good. Atamba? Mm -hmm. My hobby is thinking and I think I... Okay, machine. Okay, so those are the different hobbies and how we can use our hobbies to develop the business ideas. Then we have observation where you can just sit and observe what is taking place. And from there, you develop the business idea in newspapers and magazines, radios and television. As we watch, we can develop different um, business ideas from there. As we read the newspapers, we develop business ideas from there. Then conducting a survey, you can carry out a survey to find out what is, how what people like, what are their problems. ETC, as you do that, you, you get to, you can develop a business idea from there. And discussions and interviews, uh, you can discuss with the different people, you interview them, then from there you develop their business idea. Then we have finding out the people's problems. From those problems, you can develop their business ideas as you try to solve those problems. Then using creative mind and innovative skills, you can also develop the business idea. So if we don't have any question on the sources of business ideas, we can go to generating business ideas. Let us have Nanya's reading for us from generating. Nanya's. Oh, I'm sorry, teacher, I left my hand up. Okay, Queen, you can remove the hand, Queen. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Like, uh -huh. like yeah, business in the process of a business is like an activity done like for an economy, something like that. And and like if your hobby is like you like reading the Bible, such such things, and you set up a church so that like the money you get in in offer, sorry, use it like as a business. So is that the church a business mm -hmm. to some people that may be a business but it depends now on your heart and your connection with god to set up a, a church as uh, when your your total intention is to get money or to help people go to heaven and change from their sins so it depends but some people really start churches with the aim of making just money Okay, teacher. Thank you for that question. Yes, what do you have to say? I'm sorry, I left my hand up. I had Daniel, that. Daniel, what do you have to say? So always mm -hmm. remember to put your hands down when you're through with your asking because they keep on disorganizing me. I can't continue when I'm seeing hands up. Daniela, tell us. I wanted to read, but then I cannot see the screen. Oh, read. You can't see the screen. Yeah, yes, I can't see yes. anything. We There's nothing. You have a screen. So we can't see. Yeah, I thought you have the books. Yes, so we have, have a book. Hey, read. I watch generating which business part? ideas. It's, uh, generating business ideas. ideas. Business yeah. ideas can be generated or identified from the environment through the following ways. Developing an idea in an area where you have interest, taking note of the obvious problems that you encounter in your encounter in your day to day life. 
um, traveling to new areas can help an individual clear. to gather information about the different business ideas. Somebody has to read because she, she's not clear. Mm -hmm. Nanya, your hand is up. Yes, read. Read. Uh, generating business ideas. Business ideas can be generated or identified from oh, the environment okay. through the following. Taking note of your everyday. Taking um, note of obvious. I'm on the third Marjorie, that's me. Taking note of obvious problems that you can encounter in everyday life. Traveling to new areas can help an individual to gather information about different business ideas. List, listening to and observing what is going on around you. Okay, very good. So those are the different ways fast. of generating a business idea. You can take notes of the problems, trouble, listening, or that can help you to develop the business idea. So I want us to identify five problems and the business ideas we can develop from there. Could she repeat? She was too fast. Okay. Um, the first one let was... Me read. Oh, sorry, okay. Oh, okay, you can go ahead. Uh, the first one was taking note of your everyday life. Yes, the number two. No, no, actually, the first one was taking note of the obvious problems that you encounter in your everyday life. Are you done? Yes. Traveling to new areas can help an individual to gather information about the different ideas. Can you please repeat the one before? Traveling to new areas can help the an individual. The one before that. Taking note of obvious problems <laughs> that you encounter, you encounter in your life. Uh, then the third one is. Thank you. Taking note of obvious what? Taking note of obvious problems that you encounter in your everyday life. And then the last one is listening to and ob observing what is going on around you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, now our question is, we are going to identify five problems and the business ideas we can develop from there. Okay. You can see a question. Identify five, identify business ideas, five business ideas that you can develop from the problems in the community. Yes, Primrose, can you tell us yours? Um, teacher, in my community, um, most of the people are farmers, okay, like the cattle rearers. So 
but that the problem they have or we have is that we don't have veterinary services nearby so which causes most of the farmers to go in far distances to find the veterinary services okay in case of the animals get sick so the business idea i would generate from that is setting up a veterinary service shop or the drug shop for animals near close by thank you very much yes at kunda uh teacher like for example if people like don't want to move to places to get like goods you can buy the goods and then you deliver to them so yeah delivering to people <laughs> Very good, thank you. Our a problem is COVID. Then the different business opportunities are making soaps, making sanitizers, making masks, then also making medicines for COVID. Thank you. Kalibala and Anna. And some communities, there's a lot of dumping of waste like like household waste and like charcoal gas and and like a lot of cow dung on the road you can you can you can collect, you can collect to make charcoal bricks okay charcoal bricks from the west Thank you. Hope, Chirabo. Um, I like in our area, some in our area there are poor health services. So I think we can start, I like I can start a business, a, a clinic and um, a pharmacy that can provide medicine to those people and treat them. Okay, thank you. Uh, Uh, in most areas, there's a problem of not having electricity. So if you encourage people to install solar systems and solar panels in their houses, then it will help with that problem. Okay, thank you. Hi, Tessie. Um, teacher, due to the lockdown, some students don't have the requirements they need to carry out their studies. So I would start up a, like a bookshop or some place where I can sell textbooks and different exercise books that would be needed by the children who can study due to the lockdown. Okay, thank you. Akam Frila. Teacher, in our... In our community, there are many plants, but less, but less, and but they are not so healthy. So I can sell manure from the from the animals we rear and get money. Okay, thank you, uh, Queen. So like now in online classes, those who can't afford computers and phones, like I can open up an internet cafe, and like I can charge them money to so that they can attend their Zoom classes or online studies. Beautiful. Thank you. Vanya. Abigail. Like if your area has bad security and maybe you have a dog that has given birth, you can sell the dogs and get some money from them. I mean, the puppies. Okay. Uh, Narule? I'm Charity. In my area, in, in my area, people walk long distances to go and get milk. But if you bring the, the milk nearer and you sell it, you're going to make a profit. And people going long distances to just buy um, a classic. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Charity. Okay, so those are the problems and the different business ideas we can develop from those problems. Then I want us to discuss. Yes, I tell you. Uh, can you say that if you have if you have a business business idea of starting a pork processing business because there is low quality meat, like in my area, yes. the butcher. It's okay. That. Yes, Christo, what do you have to tell us? If you have a business, oh. I already gave my answer. No, tell her, right. Okay, you put down your hand then. Uh, so let's go to the factors mm -hmm. considered as we select those business ideas. Excuse me, Tisha. Yes. You excuse? Factors considered to select the business excuse me, idea. Teacher. You excused. So I wanted to ask the person who mentioned a company. Excuse me. Teacher. A point of. Yes, Anna. I was saying, like, if you know how to make snacks like banana chips, potato crisps, you can like them and put it there. Yes, that point will go under the sources of business idea that is technical skills. Okay, so we are looking at our factors considered when we, as we select the business idea. Factors considered as we select when selecting a good business idea. Can you share with us the factors we consider as we select the good business idea? Nama Gembe. Um, uh, mistaking cash for profit. Uh, because if you have a business idea and you don't have like people who are going to take their things, so it will you will not make profit. So you have to have market where you are going to buy. Very good. So one is presence of market. As you select that business idea, you must first ask yourself, is the market there? Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, best. Possibility of expanding the future market. If you want to start up a business, you have to have a thought at the back of your head, am I able to grow my business and expand it? So as you're starting up your business, you have to have the ability, you have to have the ability to and be able to expand your market and it's yes thank you best uh, so as you start your business you must ask yourself what if i get more and more customers will i be in position to expand what if i get the whole world buying from me will i be in position to provide and expand so you must ask yourself all that um yes atamba it should be something you're passionate about so that you're able to put in the effort you need. It should yes. be something you need. So something you like should be of your interest so that you put all your effort there. Very good. Thank you for that. Uh, Katsime. You can consider the location where you have a station, your business. Pardon? You should consider the location where you have stationed your, stationed your business. What exactly should you consider on the location? 
Um, because see the where there's like where, whether there are enough people who will buy your goods where you are, because you cannot station a business like um say a Colgate business in the village because there are very few people in the village who can afford Colgate. Aren't you going back to the presence of market? <laughs> so uh, we can term that point as accessibility. You must make sure that you, the where you're putting the business, the customers can easily access the business. So the point there is accessibility. Uh, Daniela, your hand is up. Can you tell us something? Production cost. For example, um, the cost of raw materials, labor. After paying all your workers and buying all those raw materials, are you also going to receive a profit? Very so good. You should so also production. consider that. Very good. Thank you, Daniela. Nachibuka. Business risks. Yes. Business risks. Can you explain? Like you need to know the risks you are likely to face and know if it's really worth it. Like the business basing on market stability. Okay, thank you. Uh, can we have... Um... I have one. I have one. Can we have many answers? Mm, sorry, teacher. My my answers are already been made. Yes, you are excused. Um, for production cost, can't it be like, um, let's say I'm making charcoal briquettes and I have to have a production cost because I can't produce it for free. So production cost is all is all about how much you're investing in the business. So you must find out how much you're investing in the business and you also find out whether you make some. Profits. It's not Vuka. Teacher, I've lost your break. Okay, I was saying production cost is how much? Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Miss Change, can you help to explain I that? Miss Change. Can you help to explain? Uh, what exactly? I was a good business idea. We are looking at the we are looking at the factors. We are looking are the factors considered as we select the business idea. They have given present market possibility for expansion, cost of production, and they wanted to understand more what cost of production is. The cost of production is actually what you put in. Eh? Cost of production, what you put in. What are you going to spend? What are the costs that are incurred when you're actually carrying out that particular business? So if once you realize that the cost is high, then it means that um, the prices of the final commodities will be uh, will also be high, and therefore you actually be uh, it will actually be difficult for you to sell such commodities that are expensive. 
So cost of production must you are supposed to consider the cost of production. How much do you incur? How much do you put in when you actually are carrying out or starting that particular business? Yes, Namoli, what do you have to tell us? Um you, she was asking what production costs mean, and it's for example, we have cost of raw materials, labor, machinery, selling and distribution costs. Thank you. Uh, charity. Excuse me, teacher. Since cost of production is like what you invest in the business, and like Sechira, I mentioned a point about how much you gain. Can you also mention another point, like how much is to be gained from the business as a factor that you need to consider? when selecting a business? Uh, that one, I think we can put it under market. You must make sure that the market is there uh, so that you get their profits. Uh, yes, Vivian? Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Can, can flexibility, can, um, let me see, flexibility, I mean, when your stability of a business be a factor of, of when consider when you're selecting a good business idea. No, maybe other factors we can consider is government policies. Whether the government is allowing that such a business idea to take on, uh, we can also consider environmental policies. Uh, no, those ones are under government policies. Yeah. Yes. How about if you say that, um, are you safe? Are you in a business where you're about to die? No, that one is security. We call it security. You must consider security around Yes, because business. there are some businesses where you're about, where you are at a risk, you're almost going to die at any time. <laughs> yeah, so you must, you must make sure there is security for your business, for your properties, and for your life. Other point to oh, consider. I didn't hear what you said for my question. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said for my question. What was your question? I was asking that since production cost like only means how much you put in a business, and also a person has to consider how much that person gains. Can you mention how much profit will be gained as a factor that needs to be considered when selecting a business idea as you consider cost of production your your aim is to see whether you will get some profit okay excuse me teacher yes angela angel no teacher it's me Marjorie. i'm asking like also in things factors to consider can you also consider transport because something when you're making your business like let's say the buyer is in, let's say in Soroti and you're in Kampala, you have to consider the transport to take the goods to the person, the, the, the person who's buying. So also transport is considered. Transport can be under accessibility to your business. And that point of transport can also be under nearness to the market or availability of market. Maybe okay. another point we can consider here is the, uh, is the, Source of, raw mat source of raw materials. Where are you going to get the raw materials you're going to use? We can consider that before we start the business. You must get to know where exactly you're going to be getting the goods you are going to use in the business. Angel, what do you have to tell us? Angel, put down your hand if you don't have anything to tell us. I know I'll, I clear like the legal documents and meet standards. Yes. That one will go under the, uh, the government policy. 
as the factors concerned. So I Teacher. think we can conclude with those factors. Uh, one of them is presence of market possibility of expansion. Yes. Um, like, can't you say presence of a material? I have given that point. Yes. Of of like if you may have the money, but you can't like. Yes, point mentioned. So we have present presence of the market, possibility of expansion, cost of production, business risks, government policy, uh, security, source of raw materials, etc. Numbers. What do you have to tell us? Okay, if you don't have anything to tell us, can we have Madam Miriam taking us to, to business opportunities? Madam Miriam, read for us the meaning of business opportunities. Uh, business opportunities, yes, thank you, Madam Rose. Uh, business opportunity as business opportunity. A business opportunity is a selected business. Me, yes, I have what is Cynthia. Cynthia. So I forgot my hand up. Okay, so I was uh, defining business opportunities that it is a selected business idea. That can be turned into a real and all those business ideas eh, you have actually come up with. The moment you turn it into a real table business, and then that is a business opportunity. You are first. I'm first. No, I was just defining a business opportunity. So I see that. Like business idea so you are that can okay let me slow down a bit I'm, I'm i'm just giving a definition which is a selected idea that can be turned into a real and profitable business uh, so most of you are actually giving out at the business ideas that business idea you have come up with, the moment you turn it into a real and a profitable business, then that is a business. That it is that business idea you have come up with and has been turned into a, and a profitable business. Then that is what is referred to as business opportunity. So, in, um, so it is actually an opportunity. Is the evidence that the entrepreneurs so could you are please repeat that? Um, I said that a business opportunity is a selected business idea that can be turned into a real and a profitable business. It is that business idea Thank you, that teacher. can be turned into a real and profitable business. All the business ideas you have come up with, eh? the moment you turn it into a real and profitable business, then that is a business opportunity. Mm -hmm. All those ideas you selected in this activity is now your business opportunity. So let someone take us through the characteristics of a good business opportunity characteristics of a good so can I read? Yes. Uh, characteristics of a good business opportunity. Uh, demand. This involves real demand, stock market for the product, i.e. the customers who the customers who have the ability and willingness to buy the product. 
low or moderate startup capital. It should have low capital investment. Availability of resources, e.g. the raw materials used as inputs should be available. Availability of required skills. Yes, continue. Chirabo, can you continue? Uh, where had I stopped? I think I stopped on compet competitive. It should be equal or better than other available products. Return on investment. It should be profitable to the entrepreneur. Meet objectives. It should meet the objectives and goals of those taking the risk. Okay, thank you very much. Um, if some, someone has a question, eh? if you have any question, can you please ask me? Yeah. About those characteristics of the can you can you please can she please repeat some of them? Uh, the first one is okay, let me share them. Let me share them. Let me just I'm going to give you a clue. If you collect collecting rainwater, what do you use the rainwater for? Sincerely, at home we collect rainwater. What do we use it for? I'm not telling you. Yes, I'm not telling you. Hi, Jorin. Yes, please, teacher. Yes, what do you have to say? No, I just wanted to read, but let me put down my hand because someone is very dirty. And Asher? Asher, what do you have to say? Madame Rose is going to share. Uh, the first one was demand, that it involves the real demand or market for the product. A good business opportunity should actually involve real demand or market for the product. So the customers who have the ability and willingness to buy the product. So there must be demand for whatever you are going to produce or whatever you are providing. The demand has to be there. Or the market for those products has to be there. Then the second one was the law of moderate startup capital. Capital must be there. It should have low capital investment. Of course, when we are starting business, you must think of capital or capital must be available. It is what you're supposed to put in in order to run that particular business. Then availability of resources. For example, the raw materials that are used as inputs should be available. Okay? So if you're starting up a business, then you must be having the raw materials. So it is the raw materials that are turned into the commodities, the final products. So those, those raw materials must be available. Then availability of the required skills. The entrepreneur should have the right business skills, the technical skills and knowledge about the business. So if you have the knowledge about the business, it means that you can actually be in position to run that particular business because you have the knowledge, you have the skills eh, of how to actually run the business or, or, or make it or turn the raw materials to finish the product. And then the competitiveness, it should be equal or better than other available products. Uh, you know that on market, on market there could be other products that are being produced. So you must be in position to compete or to outcompete those other products that are available. So you must make sure that the products here should be better quality yeah yeah and then return on investment excuse the entrepreneur so you have to make sure excuse me, i'm sorry for interrupting but what are we talking about because i had gone off it is shared we are talking it is shared, about please. 
quite is a quite is of a I'm good business opportunity or characteristics. Characteristics of a good business opportunity. Okay. The characteristics of a good business opportunity. So what gonna Whenever you invest in a business, you must think of the profits that you're going to realize from that particular business. So the business should actually be profitable to the entrepreneur. Then meet the objectives. Whenever we are starting, you're supposed to have objectives. So it should meet the goals and objectives of those taking you must have the reason as to why you are starting that, as, as to why you are actually producing such a product, as to why you are producing this. You must have those goals, okay? the objectives, and you must make sure that you are meeting the major objectives as to why you started it, that why you are providing those particular services or producing those particular commodities. Yes, Sophia, what do you have to tell us? Sophia, what do you have to tell us? Is perception in the market also a good characteristic of a good business opportunity? Pardon? When you say exception in the market, is it correct to be among the characteristics of good? Yeah, people must accept yeah. the business you bring. If they don't accept, you may not operate. Okay, thank you. Okay, unless you have so a what question. About, teacher, what about skilled labor? You must possess the required skills. So among them are the skilled labor. If you have them, then it is a good business opportunity. It's like you want to start making cakes, but if you don't have the skills of making a cake, then you cannot operate. So you, you can't, it is not a good business opportunity because you're lacking the skills. Okay. Queen, what do you have to say? Teacher, on this point number two, they say you have to start up with a low capital investment. So for me, I'm wondering if you start up with a low capital investment, would then like that business collapse since there is low capital? Okay, now like now the level where you are, you you earn less. You have uh less money to start the business. So the business opportunity to identify, it must be in line with the income you have, with the money you have. If it is beyond, far beyond the money you can get, then it's not a good business opportunity. It's only good if you're saying, now I like I need 200,000 to start this business and I have this money, then it is good to go. And when we talk of low or moderate, it is different from each other. To me, my moderate may be 200. And to you, your moderate may be 2 million. So it depends on how much you have. OK? okay yes. Queen, is it clear? Yes. Yeah. OK. Anna? Now what, about, what about the location of, of the business? How is it a good a quality? Tell us, ex explain. For example, you're, 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 you're doing a pop business and you put a business in a place where Muslims are. So that people won't buy. That point so is acceptance, acceptance in the community. You must start up a business which is accepted in the community. Is okay. it clear? Yes, teacher. So the point is acceptance. Any other questions? 
Any other question? Any other question? Namgera, what do you have to tell us? Numbers, eh? Anna, put down your hand. Yes. Anna, what do you have to tell us? I left my hand up. So can you have an activity? Can you have an activity? Um, uh, the activity is as follows that look around your community and figure out the products that may be on demand 10 to 15 years to come. List them down. So next time we shall actually begin from there. Look and around I'm your community and figure out the products that may be on demand 10 to 15 years to come. You list them down. So next time we shall share with the rest of them. Shall first repeat. Uh, look around the community and figure out the products. Figure out the products that will be on demand. Do you hear me? Look around your community and figure out the products that may be on demand 10 to 15 years to come. Then you lift them down. So next time, we shall actually begin from there. From there. Okay, others, thank you for being a good class. You're welcome. Thank you for your participation. You're welcome. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you. Thank you, teacher, for the lesson. See you, teacher, next Monday. Monday? Bye. 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 Excuse me, teacher, could you share the screen that has the characteristics of a good business opportunity? Yes, Bye. Bye. Madame Rose shared. But, but she had, she had not taken In the NDC, it was too In the NDC books. I think she was 38. So, meeting her. Oh, you long ago, on a row. Mr. Bella, what is it? <laughs> Are you ever there? Who is that man singing? Uh, 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 um, Ashley. I told you long ago, on the road. What is that? Man, I think I know this dude who's singing. You got Krista Bennett. Eh? I sentenced you five years of Montero prison. <laughs>